morning. I know I'm on a little bit late here. I have a couple technical issues. Okay, we're gonna get going. You're gonna start doing your arm circles. I'm getting my music on. Uh, today we are going to do, we are gonna do, it is still gonna be called cardio hit, but we're gonna do some weights where we time the Tabata timing. So 20 seconds of uh, work, 10 seconds of rest. I see you guys popping on. I see Lisa. Um, I see a few more of you. Names don't always pop up. It's always just like a hit or miss thing. Um, let's start with some arm circles. All right, want to get you in and out of this workout as quick as possible. I have a little football in front of me. <laughs> arm circles backwards and forwards. So again, I'll be modifying with my arm. Let's get sweaty, let's warm up properly. Really important to feel that shoulder articulate into the socket. Let's take it wide, toes and knees sit down into a squat, sitting back. Three more here. Three, two, and one. Feet together, squat to reach. Up to your toes. Three more, here you go. Three, two, and one. Side lunge this way. Drive your hips back, sitting back. Warming up around that hip. Three, two, one, other side, sitting back. So stepping to the side, but driving your hips back behind you. Three more, three, two, and one. Come back to center, put your feet not as wide as the wide squats and not as narrow as the narrow squats. I want you to go down and give me some pulses. Come up and then rise up onto your toes. Two pulses, come up, toes. Pulse, toes, pulse, toes. Pulse, toes, pulse down for eight, seven, six, abs in, five, Four, three, two, one. Come up to the toes, hold for three, two, and one. Come to the top of your mat. Tuck your chin to your chest, roll your shoulders forward. Exhale your breath out as you roll down slowly. Pedal one knee, then the other. Just finding a nice stretch through those legs. Shake your head yes and no. Interlace those fingers and squeeze your head and neck. Step yourself back to plank. Push through your feet. Give me eight mountain climbers. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push back to downward dog. Enjoy this downward dog, you guys, pedaling out those heels. Calf stretch, pressing into those hands, sending the sit bones away, maybe feeling a stretch down the sides of the back shoulders. Pull the belly button in as you keep pedaling those heels. Lift up one leg, open it up. Really, really open up the hip in this position. Push through your hands, swing through, drop your back knee. Rotate open towards that front leg. Drop that hip down, lizard. Good, and fold. Rotating open. And fold. Big rotation. Fold and hold here. Let's take some breaths in this hamstring. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, fold in, getting a little more length. Inhale. Exhale. Come forward, pick up that back knee. See if you can stretch through that back hip flexor here. Come back to your downward dog, pedal your heels again. Lift up one leg, open it up. Swing through, drop your back knee. Rotation. And fold. 
Big open. And fold. And fold. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. Take an inhale. Fold and exhale. Come forward. Pick up your back knee. Stretch it out. Come back to all fours. Cat cow here. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Release the belly. Feel the back arch. Inhale. Exhale. Round tuck tail. Tuck chin. Inhale. Exhale. Really make sure you're ex exaggerating these movements. Inhale. And exhale. Fingertips towards your knees. And then just stretching out those forearms. We'll do both directions. Palms up. Pressing the backs of the wrist down and make a fist. Maybe put the thumb inside and press down through the back. Push yourself back into your plank position. Come to your elbows. Holding your plank here. I want you to tap your knees. Tuck. Find your core. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Fire up that core. Three. Two. One. We're going to do some mountain climbers here. You're going to really feel this one. You're going to slightly drop the hips. Lift them up and find a spot for your knee to come in like a mountain climber on your elbows. You're going to slowly, easily drop your hips, being careful of your low back. Bring it in. Little drop. Tuck it in. Three. Little drop. Four. Little drop. Five. Tuck it in. Bring your bum up to fit your knee. Six. Seven. One more. And eight, drop your knees, well-deserved child's pose here. Sit your hips on your heels, stretch those hands away, roll the forehead. Take a big inhale and exhale breath, and then drop those elbows down. Okay guys, we're going into our last week of August here, and I know for a lot of you that means consistency starts in September. So I want you to get back on track with those workouts. I want you to tuck those toes, slowly walk up, because I'm, I know who's showing up and I know who isn't. <laughs> um, and the more consistent you can be, the better it's gonna be because remember these are programmed in an order. Okay, so today we are gonna be doing Tabata style with the weights and the cardio. We're gonna start off with some simple squat jacks. So I am gonna show you an advanced version if you want it with this step, okay? We're going to start off 20 seconds. We're going to do this three times in a row, okay? And then we're going to switch to some strength. So if you want squat jacks here, it's 20 seconds. Obviously, you can do it on the floor. And then if you don't want all that jumping, you're here, okay? 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We're going to go through this three times. I need glasses to see my watch. All right, I'm gonna start just on the floor, see how that feels. Here we go, in three, two, one, go. Down and up, 20 seconds. It's short and sweet, but making sure these first few, your form is really good, okay? Because your body might not feel quite warm. We didn't do a long warm up today because we don't really need it. We're doing that two more times, getting ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Down and up. Sit back, abs are in. You do your version. Two and one. Getting ready, one more. Three, two, one, let's go. Two, one, 
we're moving to ground to press. So you have a couple options. If you don't want the ground part, you can just press here, okay? You can curl press, it's 20 seconds worth, or you can come down to the full squat ground to press. Um, I don't know what weights I want today. <laughs> oh. All right guys, here we go. Three times through, you pick curl to press, just presses or ground to press. We're going in nine seconds. Shoulders back, challenge yourself with those weights. If you're doing the ground to press, you should be fairly strong in this position anyway. Here we go. I don't wanna hit the ceiling. So if you're doing the ground to press, it's a little bit more of a snatch feel where you power up to the sky. See how fast it goes? So 20 seconds goes so fast with this, you guys. You need to grab heavy. Three, two, one, go. One more. Getting ready, shoulders back. Big breath, light grip. Three, two, one, let's go. guys moving on to hop overs again you have this as an option here there's a million things you can do you can hop over it this way or you can hop over your mat we're going go hop over a mat whatever it is if you have this step you can hop over it so many different ways you can be here you can tap off this side you pick 20 seconds worth go hard Two more. Getting ready. Three, two, one. I'm already hot. It's humid here today. I can feel it. One more, one more. This is good before I have to sit in a car for 15 hours tomorrow. <laughs> oh, go. Big arms, push. And one, grab quick sip. Moving to bicep curls with lunges, or just lunges. Use this step. So heavy as you can here. Uh, I'm gonna not do the bicep curls, and it'll go a little heavier on the legs. But you are, and I'm gonna use my step. So you're either gonna be standing on the floor, or standing on your step. You're curling at the bottom, and you're kneeing up. You have 20 seconds per side, it goes quick. I actually want you to move a bit quicker. Going in 10 seconds, same side three times. Here we go, curl at the bottom if you want it. I might try, let's see. Oddly feels okay today. Hammer or rotation, I would recommend picking one because we have two sides. Two, see how quick? <laughs> Go heavy. Two, same side, same side. I might even just take out the knee. Move as 
quick as you can here. One more on this side. Three, two, one. We're going to the other side. I'm just gonna shift over. Hammer, if you did hammer on the other side, or sorry, rotate if that's the one you're on. So when you bring the knee up, it just takes extra time. Two and one. Two more. Exhale that breath. Sweaty weights. Two, one. One more. Two, one, go. Two. One, I'm gonna give you a water break after this next one, guys. We're gonna squat jump three times. You can either jump up onto something here or squat jump here. 20 seconds worth, go. Go, go, go. Maybe it's air squats. Two. One, two more. Getting ready. Three, two, one, go. One more. Whew. Water break coming up. Three, two, one, go. One, rest. All right, working in through the back now, we're gonna get those light flies or the TRX pulls. 20 seconds hard, so options to go to the TRX, like this. Okay, you can do narrow if you want. I would recommend just doing whatever feels okay for you. I am gonna use this today. Cause I'm really missing it with my arm and my arm's feeling a bit better today. Okay. We're going to combine that after with some cardio. We're doing this 20 seconds going in nine seconds, seven, six. You're going to do your back, burn out your back, or you're doing bent over flies with light weight or as heavy as you can in those 20 second intervals, shoulders away from ears, squeezing those shoulder blades together. I'm just so happy I can do it. <laughs> it's getting better, guys. It's getting there. <sighs> Here we go. Two more. Three, two, one. That's the thing, right? When you get injured, you're just so thankful. <sighs> you make all the excuses when you're healthy not to do something, but then when you can't physically, 
you can't wait to actually do it. Squeeze, two, one. One more set for that back. Nice tall spines here wherever you're at. Keep that core engaged. Okay, we're gonna come back to that on the ground because we're gonna do that again. Okay, I get enough of the spine. I want you to do plank jack to pop jack. Now this is a tough one. If you don't want to pop up, you can always just stay here for 20 seconds. You can do mountain climbers, but they are coming later. So you'll be doubling up on that. So you can do two jacks, one pop, one of each, or just jack it at the back. We have three rounds. Getting ready, seven, six, two, one, go. So it's like half a burpee coming up. Rest. I need some room here. Two more. Three. Two, push yourself. Come on, guys, it's short and sweet today. I want to save some time for core and stretching, so push. Two, one, one more. seconds. Here we go. Catch your breath. Rest. You got 10 seconds. Two more. You totally can. One more. Getting ready. Three, two, one. Wherever you're at, guys, shoulders away from ears, long spine, abs are in, breathe. All right, let's have a quick sip. I need to strip. How are we doing? I can see people on here today. It's been quiet lately. Oh, I'm gonna pause that. Lisa, Heather, awesome. Bev, hi. Summers for everybody. Okay. Moving on, we've got speed skaters, guys, and push ups. So, don't need this unless you want it. I will show you one fun thing you can do here. You might prefer it over speed skaters if you've got this. You can go the whole way of this step 20 seconds hard, pushing off. It is kind of fun. Something different. Three, two, one, let's go. Twenty seconds hard, three times. 
abs in, tall spine. Remember, you can stay up higher, you don't have to jump, you pick. 20 seconds, going again, two more times. Things are sticking to me, that's a good sign. Go. Push. Legs are tired <laughs> from Monday. One more. Getting ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Push hard. 30 seconds hard. So just give me a nice child's pose here. We're going into push-ups. If you prefer chest press, you can lay on your back. If you've got this, your bench, your BOSU. But we're gonna do three sets of 20 second push-ups. Getting ready in 10 seconds. I'm going from my knees. Try from your feet, guys, if you can for 20 seconds. It's still gonna be challenging wherever you're at. Because this is an easier position for me, I am going a little quicker. The other option is to go super slow, but it is only 20 seconds. Okay, so challenge, make sure it's challenging somehow. The idea of Tabata though, you guys, is a little bit of speed. So see if you can do that today. Go. Rest, one more, reach. Here we go. Gently coming up, nice and easy. I am pausing us, grab water if you need it. Moving on. Burpees for 20 seconds. I'm going to use the BOSU. We're gonna come back to the floor after this and do some triceps. So you'll need, I'm gonna be doing my triceps with my feet on the BOSU and I'm gonna be grabbing these light weights on my back. If you wanted to do tricep push-ups, that's going to be an option as well. So make sure you have your stuff ready. 20 seconds, we're going. Here we go. Burpee time. Pick any other cardio we've done if you don't like burpees. Three, two, one, go. I like having the BOSU for a couple reasons. It's easier on my spine, helps me squat better. When I come up, I can squeeze my upper back, pulling the BOSU towards me. It's almost like a weighted burpee, in a way. Two more. Three, two, one, go. Guys, we're getting there. I think I like this about this workout, is it? It's a lot of change, so it feels like it moves fast. Go, push, stay. 
Stay with me. All right, flip the BOSU over. Come with me for triceps. Laying on your back, feet on the BOSU. Sit close to the BOSU. You can easily flip over here and do tricep hand release push-ups or tricep push-ups. We're going in seven seconds. Hips up or not. Ponytails out of your way. It's always an issue. Go. 20 seconds. So even if you don't do the full range, I want you to get a burn. Maybe going three quarters of the way down and squeeze up hard with those triceps. I want you to get a ton of reps in here because it goes really fast. Getting ready. Pinkies to the back of the weight. Two, one, go. One more. Three, two, one. Oh, my arm is done. You guys keep going. I gotta stop that one. All right, staying on the ground, okay? I want you to do mountain climbers. Now, you can run them or do them slow. Remember to buy this 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Give me a quick child's pose here. Getting ready, we're going three times through in seven seconds. See what you can do. Two, one, go, run. hardest ones for sure. Child's pose. Getting ready. Three, two, one, go. Come on. Think about when we do this eight rounds for real Tabata. This is no problem for us. One more. Go. Push. All the way, push. happy that's over. Lay on your back or just sit up here for a sec. Okay, we're going to do some V-ups. Give those arms a break. Here we go, guys. Laying down, all your options are dead bug, of course, here. Thing with dead bug, guys, it's not meant to be fast. If you want to do some, like, fluttering here, you can. That stops the need or the people that can't do this, because this isn't always good for the spine, right? Not everybody feels good in this position. So, your options. You can do like a quick sort of bicycle situation. You can come with me for bent legged or straight legged VF. Six seconds, we have 20 seconds three times. Go. second rest. Come on 
on guys, we're coming to the end here of the intensity. Two, one, go. One more. Three, two, one, go. Push. All right. Grab water. I desperately need water. We have our very last cardio. Whoops. Last, last cardio. Then we're going to take our socks and shoes off, and I'm going to try and get you to buy into some yoga with me. <laughs> All right. So for the cardio, we're going to do these X jumps or the froggers. They're the hardest ones probably are the ones that I hate the most. <laughs> when you're ready, you pick three, two, and one. Let's go. Push. Get those inner thighs here, guys. Last one, best one. Come on. You'll have to tell me what you guys think of this workout. It's a bit different than normal. Three. Two, one, let's go. Ah. It's hard. One more, one more. Holy cow. Two. And one. Push. Ah. Whatever is left, I got nothing. I'm trying. All right. Pause. Water. Socks and shoes off. Cheers. Okay. I mean, you guys, a thumbs up if you can still talk. I may have pushed it a little bit with my arm, but it's honestly been okay. It's still a little bit of pain, but I know you guys. <laughs> have sent me lots of nice messages about it so okay socks I want you to find a warrior two I'll tell you one thing I have not done yoga because it is one thing that's very easy for me to damage this a lot of downward dogs and all that kind of stuff so I cannot wait to get back into it so you guys get a piece of it because I'm missing it. Find a warrior two and then just come with that elbow on the inside, stretching and reaching up. You should feel a stretch here, possibly through the back leg and foot here. Push your hips towards me. Reach your other hand up. See if you can bend into that front leg. Good, you still probably are catching your breath like me. Turn both your toes in and then go to the other side. Push through your feet, find the warrior two on the other side. So just find it here and then send your elbow on the inside. Reach your elbow up, push through your feet. So you wanna push through the back foot, the outside of that back foot into the mat, the knife edge, press it in. How is it you're ripping the mat apart? Open up through this 
Can you push your elbow into the knee, feeling a stretch on that inner thigh and groin? Reach up. Good. Coming to high crescent lunge. So not a warrior one. In fact, guys, just so you know, if those of you who do yoga, warrior one isn't great for everyone. This is, it's a really hard on the torque on your hip if you have tight hips. So when I go to yoga, they get mad at me because I'm always doing crescent lunge when they say warrior one. So warrior one here, back heel up, get a nice long lunge position, reach your hands up into the sky, take your fingers, interlace, and lay your head rested in your hands while you push back through that back knee or heel. And this can all be done with your knee on the floor, by the way. Good, you're gonna step close with that back foot so you have a closer stance here. This is a runner's sort of um, lunge position or runner's stretch position. So hips hinge, front knee slightly bent and you're just gonna fold yourself over your legs. See if you can make sure you're squaring off those hips by pulling the front hip back, okay, to square everything off. Remember to protect your knees by soft bending. You may not be all the way down, you may be here. I'm still catching my breath. <laughs> Put your hands on your hips, slowly come up. Rotate everything the other direction. Find the high lunge here. Push through that back heel. I was gonna tell you how long we went for. Uh, and 24 minutes, 23 minutes or so with all that stuff we just did pretty much straight. So squaring off, feeling that stretch of that back hip flexor, pressing through that back heel. This is where I feel like yoga, I've been missing it because I'm much more tight in these positions. Send this back leg up close. So you have about a foot and a half between your foot, your heel and your toe here. Soft bend knee as you fold yourself over. Exhale, square off those hips. Forgot to put your head and your hands on that last one, that's okay. Okay, from here, you're gonna step together at the front of your mat, so both feet are underneath you. You're doing a forward fold. Grab opposite elbow, sway side to side. You're gonna send yourself forward onto your hands and kick your right leg up into the sky. You're gonna squat down, tuck, jiva squat, and kick up that back leg. So kick it up. You're gonna working in through this glute and hamstring a little bit more, just what we wanted, right? Before we stretch it. Three more. Two. And one. You're gonna step your back leg back and drop down to your knee. Heel toe your front foot out and try to find your lizard pose here now. So really getting in to a nice deep stretch here rotating maybe opening up maybe both elbows down maybe one elbow down one hand pressing i want you to hold it here and breathe if it's available to you finding this one siri always thinks i'm talking to her Slide back and find that deep hamstring stretch here. So either up here or sitting all the way down onto that foot. Fold yourself forward. Coming forward to the lunge, you're gonna come up into high lunge again and reach your hands up and lay your hands in your head under your head, head in your hands, I mean. Come forward, step your feet together, fold yourself over. Other leg comes up into the sky. Tuck it in, kick it up, eight. Tuck it in, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, you're gonna send that leg back. You're gonna come down into this juicy lizard stretch for those legs. Make it feel good. 
All right, so summary of my life. I'm driving kids to Ontario tomorrow. It's gonna take me three days. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be there for two and a half days setting up a kid in a house. <laughs> and then I'm flying home. And then I'm home for three days. <laughs> and then I'm going to Paris. We have the challenge starting on the 5th. You need to join. You will be given an exact program for the 21 days starting on the 5th. Please sign up with an email, you guys. I will put it in here, obviously, like I always do. But it gives me an idea if you sign up the numbers. Right now, we're over, I think we're close to 60 people signed up. My goal is always to get into the hundreds, like 200s. Come up onto your knees and slide yourself over. Gate pose, stretch. So share the link with your friends. It's amyjohnstonfitness.com backslash challenge. Um, this is the sign up form. Always best with friends and family. It's kind of like this. In exchange for 13 workouts, you're giving me your email. You guys, already ha I already have your email, but anyone else. Child's pose here, sitting your hips back, reaching forward here, sitting back onto that heel. Let your head fall through your hands. Gently come up, switch to the other side. Over you go. Big, long body stretch here. Gently come up, press that leg into the ground. Other side, push your hips towards me. Just notice where you're tight here when you guys do this because it's really important. Like I'm noticing this left side is not super happy. Might need some rolling. Reaching for a child's pose. Sitting down on your bum, bringing this leg underneath you, over you go again. I'm into side stretching. Coming up, face your leg, bring your knee up, bend it, cross your hands, see if you can grab for that foot, tuck your forehead towards your knee, and just let yourself fold over with a tuck chin. Take a big inhale breaths, big exhale. Good, we'll switch to the other side. Then we're gonna do our glutes, guys, to finish. We need to get into them. We're just opening up in all directions around the hip before we do that. Over you go. Coming up, folding forward, facing your leg, tuck your chin, tuck your forehead towards your knee, cross your hands over and fold. Gently coming up, you're gonna take this leg that's out and cross it up and over top of this leg. If it's too much, undo the bottom leg. Try to find those sit bones, reach around, hug, sit, take, I really want you to think about your breath here. I want you to think of sinking your hips to the floor. Take an inhale, breath, sit up, tall twist, hug. Exhale, sinking everything down. So inhale, lift, exhale, release. If you want, you can push this knee into your arms holding this leg, push and then release, and you're gonna find more length. Where are we at for time? Oh. Good, gently undo yourself, just flip the leg that's on top. Sit on your sit bones. Sit, 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 try to find that sit bone laying on the ground. If it's too twisty, undo the bottom leg. Sit up nice and tall. Big breath in. Big exhale. Big 
Big breath in. Big exhale. Okay, choice, pigeon or double pigeon with me on the mat. So going to your regular pigeon if you want from downward facing dog, or you can come into this position with me here. And I'm just trying to breathe through this hip stretch. Sit bones on the ground, maybe coming forward. Inhale and exhale. Big breath in, big exhale, relax into it. Leaning back to come out of it, switch the leg that's on top. Big deep breaths. You guys are beginning an email from me in the next week or so explaining my schedule and reminding you to sign up for the challenge. Inhale. Exhale, um, and I'm gonna just review the last few workouts. If you have been away or have not been consistent, I want you to go backwards and do it while I'm gone um, for the ones that you missed while you were away. Let's get back to consistent, you guys. You gotta get these three workouts minimum in. You gotta get your movement um, consistent. Um, once you're consistent with one thing, everything else falls into place truly. Open up into inner thigh stretch, just sitting up nice and tall, and then coming forward if you can, or just sitting up tall. Inhale, exhale, shake it out. In the fitness industry, we always think of September as like our New Year's Eve, our New Year's. Um, it's a very, almost like because it's a, the end, it always sort of ends the mark it marks the end of summer. I think people just have a little bit of an easy breezy feel of summer, which is fine, but it's good to have that and then be able to come back. Um, I wanna do some upper body here quick. So just coming, let's sit on our feet and let's just take those triceps um, into a stretch. So taking one hand here, I'm gonna take this off, tricep stretch. Take a big inhale breath, exhale. Switch to the other side. Head and neck, you can come up off those feet if they're bugging you or just stay down. Taking your hand just on the top of the ear, pulling the skin dropping the elbow. And then maybe just releasing that, peeling your chin away from your chest, feeling the shoulder come down, dropping your chin, looking down, coming through the front, same thing on the other side. Again, if it's too much on the feet and you can't concentrate on the stretches on your neck, come off your feet. Hand away, peel the chin away. Come forward onto your hands, tuck your toes under, or push yourself up into any sort of forward fold that feels good for you here. Let all the fresh oxygenated blood go to your head, you guys. Shake your head yes and no. Squeeze your head and neck with those elbows. Slowly roll up one vertebrae right at a time. Chest against a wall, bent or straight elbow, opening up through the shoulder and the chest. Try both. 
Take this same arm across. Maybe eagle arms. Switch to the other side. All right, guys, I will miss you. Um, I will be doing car stopping and stretching. <laughs> so we have 15 hours the first day, 10-ish hours the second day, and then I think the last day is like six. So tomorrow's the grind. All right, guys, questions or concerns, uh, let me know. Um, this is what you're gonna get. Just looks like the one from March, but except for it's all different workouts, okay? And then there is the PDFs on a separate um, thing. So this will be happening September 5th to the 25th. Um, it's 21 days, um, and the goal is 13 workouts in those 20 days. So typically, you're working out four, four, pretty much four times a week on this one, okay? The nice thing is, is that you do have these PDFs, and you guys will be familiar with these. I've just basically repurposed all the ones I have, which are lots, um, and put them into a program with video, okay? So that's coming up in September. If you haven't signed up, Amy Johnson Fitness backslash challenge. Thanks for joining, guys. I'll see you in a week. I am going to teach in between coming home from London, going to Paris. Um, Paris, I'm only gone eight days, so I'll be back in a jiffy. All right, talk to you guys soon. Bye.